So I thought I'd make a video of this challenging job I've been working on here. I recently met a gentleman that does electronic repair and he brought in a couple circuit boards that he wanted me to do the soldering on because he said he had a few problems with his eyes. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a whirl and uh, one of them took me seven hours of just sitting there staring through my microscope while soldering on traces that have been torn right off the circuit board. So the second board he brought in has one of these little Molex connectors. It's a 20 pin Molex connector. The number is 1356. Anyway, it was torn right off the circuit board. So I just spent, uh, oh, actually it's been over two hours now, putting little tiny jumper wires where the circuit traces used to be. And what I wanted to talk about basically was this terrific little camera that I picked up for, I think it was around 60 bucks. I believe got it on eBay. and. I've never used it before, and uh, because it was just driving me crazy staring in this microscope for that long, I thought I'd give it a whirl. And I have to say, you know, it's not doing that bad of a job. I thought I'd recommend it. Um, there's the uh, model number for it right there. Anyway, this has been a rather challenging one. Some of the uh, traces on here are so small that uh, uh, just when I thought I had them, I had to go back and do it a second time. Just to give you an idea of the scale of the magnification this thing is capable of, by the way, I'm going to hold a little pencil there so you can see just how small some of those traces are. Now I can actually get more magnification than what you're seeing here simply by um, <clears throat> bringing the uh, microscope closer to the circuit board. Now this plugs right into a laptop, by the way, so that's the other nice thing about it. I just set a little laptop I had right on the table here and I was able to utilize it in that way. Now the hardest part of this job here I've done, by the way, it's, uh, let's see, not there, it was the other side of it. Those, yeah, those connectors right there, those wires are so close to each other. Anytime I'd heat one, I'd actually end up heating the other one when I didn't want to. And uh, again, just give an idea of the scale. It took a while to be able to get those soldered onto the board, but they're actually on there now. So I've got to be able to put this connector back on the board at this point. So hopefully all will go well. I'm going to take my time and do it to make sure that it's done right. Anyway, uh, hope you thought the video was interesting. As always, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.